Number one, those who work with me know I believe in intentionality. Oh, okay. They hear it from me all the time. <laughs> in anything that one sets out to do. And to me, that means being, uh, having a, a clear focus, having a clear strategy, uh, being steadfast, and measuring results. And, and so, of course, I believe in intentionality in that arena. Secondly, women and, and uh, underrepresented minorities have been disadvantaged in these fields. And, and so I've always articulated that we were facing a quiet crisis, namely that talent comes in you know, all ethnicities, genders, religions, national origins, etc. And that if one doesn't tap the complete, complete talent pool, then one is not going to be able to solve great problems. We've benefited in this country from having uh, brilliant scientists and engineers come to us from all over the world. Now that is at risk right now. But we also have under tapped the talent pool of women and minorities in this country. And so when you bring those two together, if we stay on this path, then we are going to run into a calamity. And if you add women and minorities together, that's really the majority. Yes. And so that's the underrepresented majority. And so I am one who says you tap the complete talent pool. And so that doesn't mean because I focus here that I don't focus there. It means that as an educator and as a scientist who believes in the power of science and technology to up people, uplift people's lives, then we have to tap and utilize all the talent. And it is an underutilized resource, but it has also been for those who have not yet made it to the minority serving institutions, but are minorities, it is an undereducated resource. And so we have to give a lot more focus there.